Welcome to your Monday Morning Pearl. I'm Steve Keck. Today, I want to talk to you about something that's been getting in my way all week, and that is active and intentional listening. As salespeople, we always want to be able to sell what's best for our clients, but sometimes they just don't listen well. What I'd like for you to consider this week is sometimes you just need to intentionally listen to what they're saying they need before you're going to be able to sell them the thing that might be best for them. There's a lot of dynamics when it comes to someone making a decision. There's multiple people now behind the scenes that are trying to weigh in on the decision to or not to do business with you. And sometimes you're not getting the fullest picture. This is why active and intentional listening is so required as salespeople today to, to make sure that we're hearing and listening to all of the right people so that we can have the clearest picture to be able to do the right thing for a client. I had two situations this week where intentional listening was critical to the salesperson. The first one was a scenario where the person trying to sell me wasn't listening to me. Now this person, I trusted that they would give me the right answers and I believed that they had the best in mind for what I needed, but they kept refusing to listen to the extra needs or the extra variables that were involved when I was trying to explain why I was or wasn't going to take the exact path they thought I should take. Three times in this five minute conversation, I had to tell this salesperson, you are not listening to me. And this salesperson got so defensive about the fact that they were right and were doing the right thing for me that they did not take the time or were unwilling to hear what I was trying to express as my concerns. I even went so far as to say, you did it again the third time they interrupted me. Now this opportunity has significant upside for this salesperson, but yet they couldn't get around themselves to intentionally listen to where I was to be able to figure out what I would actually buy from them. And now I'm considering a second source. And the second scenario was when I was sitting at a client's office and began to hear some concerns come up from an employee and these concerns needed to be heard. And I took the time to intentionally listen to that person and they started to give me a tremendous amount of information that I could use to help guide the company as a whole to avoid some serious pitfalls that they might have stumbled over. And by intentionally listening, we were able to effectively create a stopgap for this potential pitfall and avoided the situation altogether. I have this philosophy that trust takes a long time to build and I feel that sometimes land and expand is the best way for you to establish the influence required to get them to follow the best path for them. So sometimes you got to get on the beach before you can take the whole country. You can't do it all at once. So listen intently to what their concerns are and you might get a chance to get on the beach with this relationship because if you try to move into taking over the whole thing and insisting that they follow the entire path that you've laid before them and they're not ready for that amount of change, you don't even get an opportunity with them. Take the thing that gets you on the beach, build the trust, grow and grow and grow. Taking an active role in listening is not always the easiest thing for salespeople like you and me. But learning this skill set and forcing yourself to slow down and allow the other person to communicate with you is one of the most valuable things you can do for a sales profession. So focus on that this week. Are you intentionally listening to your prospects? Focus this week on intentionally listening to your prospects. Is there a current prospect that is giving you sort of some shaky signals that you need to figure out what's going on, this is your opportunity. And as always, if you need guidance with your sales team on how to make the most out of every opportunity and every conversation, reach out to us. We love helping sales teams thrive. You can find us on our website or one of our social channels.